Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am making the Arrogant Bastard clone from the American Homebrew Association that I mentioned in my last video. And I'm gonna get right to it. I actually went to the homebrew store, so everything's pre-measured. Love that. Um, but here is what is in the bag. 12 and a half pounds of two row or 5.67 kilograms, 1.75 pounds of special B which is 0.79 kilograms and eight ounces of 120 crystal, which is 227 grams. Um, so I'm just gonna double mill this, throw it into my screen, get the mash going. I'm gonna do a 45 minute mash, depending on when I come back, cause I have a doctor's appointment, might be an hour long mash. And then we're actually gonna do a 90 minute boil and a first wort hop. So kind of different from what I usually do, but hey, trying to recipe, right? All right, so let's just get started with this. I overheated my mash water or my strike water, so I'm letting it cool down. We're gonna strike at 159 and our mash temp is gonna be 152, which is 70 degrees and 67 degrees, I believe in Celsius. Did not write that down. I think it's right. Um, by the way, I put in about eight and a quarter gallons of water this time because we're doing such a long mash. So I don't know if you get a rigorous boil and usually go under your volume uh, targets, then maybe add some extra water on this one. I've been doing a lot of concrete work lately, and uh, I think mashing has actually uh, taught me a lot about how to mix things into water, because concrete lumps are even harder than malt lumps. And if your question was going to be, what am I making with concrete? because I don't typically read comments. Um, by the way, if you want an answer to a comment, email me. Anyway, I'm making pavers for my garden because of course I am, because everything I do in my life that's not brewing is gardening. Did I mention that this is a five and a half gallon batch? I guess that would be helpful. This is gonna be a strong beer. I think this is gonna be a stronger beer than they think it is. Okay, I'm gonna set a timer for 45 minutes and I'll see you guys back here when that is over. Okay, our mash is done and I'm gonna pull it and then we can do our first wort hop and get it boiling. So the hops I'm using in this are, they're the right variety, Chinook but they are cryo, so they have the wrong alpha acid. So what I've got to do is a alpha acid conversion to basically convert my 24% hops to 13% hops. And that'll basically just change the amount you add, um, which works out because I only have two ounces of Chinook and they're supposed to be like 2.75 ounces in, of Chinook in this beer. Um, there is a calculator online. Let me just see what it's called. Oh, this is the one I really like. Um, so it's by stonehelm.co.uk. If you just Google alpha acid calculator, that's the first thing that shows up for me. This is the easiest one to use. It doesn't expect you to do any math on your own. Okay, so you just put in the original weight. So for our first wort hop, it's supposed to be 1.75 ounces of 13% um, alpha acids which is 49 grams. So if you're using like a typical Chinook, you can use 1.75 ounces or 49 grams. But I need to change that. So 1.75 is our original weight. Original alpha acid is 13%. New alpha acid is 24%. Calculate. And I need 0.95 ounces. All right, so. All right, so there's 0.95 ounces for 
my dry hop. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure what I need for, for my dry hop, for my first wort hop. And I'm gonna measure what I need for my flame out hop as well. There's no hops in this boil. Kind of crazy because like you think of an arrogant bastard and it's like, it's gonna punch you in the face. Like that, everyone knows that, right? Okay, so we need one ounce at the first wort. And I'm gonna calculate. So I need 0.54 ounces for my first wort. All right, so there's my first wort. That does not seem enough hops to make an arrogant bastard, but hey, these are the experts that I'm stealing this recipe from. So this is kind of funny. Um, the IBU came out to 94 when I put it in this, but on the AHA recipe, it was 67. So we'll see how hoppy this is. So I just made a massive worm bin, like it's as tall as me. Um, and I'm super into composting and I think I'm gonna try to throw this whole thing of grain in there and we will see. I hope I don't kill my worms. I'm turning my heat up to a boil. What are we at? So our boil volume is supposed to be seven. We're at 6.75-ish, so I'm gonna let this drain out more, but I'm gonna take my pre-boil gravity reading to see if maybe I should just add some water instead. So our pre-boil is sitting at 13 bricks, and what we want for our pre-boil is 1.052. So we're at 1.054, not bad. So I think I'm just gonna let it drain out more. There's probably a lot of liquid left in there. That's a ton of grain. Okay, so now I am going to add in my first wort hops. This is kind of gonna be a balancing act. We're definitely getting more liquid out of there, so working. Okay, so it's been 90 minutes. I'm turning off my heat, dumping in my flame out hops. I already took my pre-boil gravity reading and it is 1.063 and we're at six gallons. So that's right about correct. So I'm going to let these sit in here for about 20 minutes and then chill down. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and I'm going to turn on my pump, turn on my chiller, and then we will be ready to throw in the fermenter. All right, we're chilled down to 76 degrees. That's as low as this is gonna go. Um, I'm gonna throw it in my brew built fermenter that's got the chiller in it so we can chill it down a little further. And I think I'm gonna actually have to wrap my glycol around it too, so. We'll figure that out. But um, yeah, let's get it in there. This has been all sanitized. Just gonna throw some on the rim, on the lid. Just gonna turn my pump back on, get it right in there. I have some White Labs Dry English Ale Yeast right here we're gonna pitch. We got right at five and a half gallons in there. That's the first. All right.
All right, so now I'm just gonna hook it up to multiple chillers, of course, connect my spunning valve and PRV, and let this sit. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.